What's up everybody, my name is Kevin Jones and I am a photographer and videographer in San Francisco, California. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the top three lenses that I like to bring with me everywhere I go. Before we get started, roll the intro sequence. Welcome back everybody. The first lens that I wanna talk about is the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter F 2.8 L series lens. This is actually the lens that I have on my camera right now. And this is the lens I probably keep on my camera most of the time when I'm using it. The reason I like this lens is it goes all the way from a 16 millimeter all the way up to a 35 millimeter. 16 millimeter is gonna give you that nice wide angle that I'm actually shooting on right now, which gives you a nice good view of the room. It's great for doing real estate, it's great for doing landscape, it's great for doing any kind of architecture. And really when you're trying to get a nice overall wide angle shot, overall it's a great, great lens to have. Uh, it's also gonna be able to go all the way up to 35 millimeter. 35 millimeter is gonna give you that nice cinematic look. It's a very standard in film, and so it gives you that nice authentic look like a real camera would. Um, just a nice, nice focal length to shoot in, and you can kind of go anywhere in between there if you need to. I kind of sometimes stay in the middle, 24 millimeter, uh, but if I need to, I can open it up all the way to 16 millimeter. The other thing I really like about the lens is it's an f2.8, which means that it'll open up very, very wide and let in a lot of light on the sensor. It allows you to shoot better and really low light scenarios. As the sun starts to go down, having the ability to open up that sensor and really let in more, more light onto that sensor is gonna really allow you to do more and be more creative with your camera. It also uh, has an L series, uh, so it's an F2.8 L series. I really recommend if you have the extra money, it's really, really worth it to put that money in for a nice lens. You're gonna get a real nice crisp image out of the F2.8 L series. I particularly have the Mark II. Overall, I couldn't be more happy uh, with the 16 to 35 millimeter F2.8 L series. And that is my number one lens that I use on my camera all the time. The next lens that I wanna talk about is the Canon. 24 to 70 millimeter F 2.8 L series. Again, it is a 2.8, so same thing goes. Uh, this one is also a 24 millimeter, so it's still pretty wide angle. So it's still very wide angle, but it's gonna allow you to uh, really get that telephoto uh, look when you need to and zoom in. If you need to shoot wide angle, you can. If you need to zoom in on some kind of subject, you're really gonna be able to zoom in and get that shot a little bit better, frame it a little better. So for overall framing, this is a really good lens to have for travel photography. If you're just kind of out and about and you wanna be able to capture some pictures that um, you know, you're not gonna be able to see too well on a really wide, wide angle like I'm shooting on right now, this is a good lens to be able to instantly pop up to 70 millimeters, get into that telephoto focal length. Uh, it's also a really good portrait lens because it's going to go all the way from 50 millimeter to 70 millimeter. So you can actually take some really nice portraits with this lens as well. So this is my probably my second favorite lens to carry with me everywhere I go. Again, it's, it's kind of heavy, but it's not too heavy. It's pretty small. That's my, my second favorite lens. Third favorite lens to bring with me everywhere I go. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive, but this is really, really worth it. And this is a really nice lens to have. This is the Canon 85 millimeter uh, F 1.2 L series lens. Uh, this lens is amazing. Uh, it is so, so crystal clear. The image quality that you're gonna get from this lens will blow your mind. I still take pictures with it and I'm just, in awe at the quality that I can get from this lens. 85 millimeter is, like I said before, it's a, it's a telephoto, so it's, it's definitely a more zoom lens. Um, but the amount of depth of field that you can get with this from you know, your subject to be able to separate them from the background is just really, really nice. It takes really good portrait pictures. But it's not only good for portrait, I mean, you can do other stuff as well. Um, I just, I think it's probably a more, more sat as a, as a portrait lens, but it's also very good for travel. The other thing I really like about this lens is it goes all the way down to a 1.2. So that means this lens can pretty much see in the dark. I mean, when you like open this thing up and you look through it, it's just like amazing, like how much it opens. So when you're in a situation where you're traveling or as the sun starts to go down and down and down, this thing is gonna still be able to perform and take amazing pictures 
as it as it gets later and later uh, by opening that all the way up to like 1.2 or 1.4 or whatever you need to to get the image quality that you're gonna gonna aim for. So those are the top three lenses that I like to carry everywhere I go. I do want to bring an honorable mention in, and this is the Canon 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8 L series as well. Uh, the L series, so it's going to be high quality glass. Uh, the one thing I really like about this lens is it's got um, a bunch of features on it that are built on. One is the image stabilization, so it'll actually stabilize your video. So if you're shooting video and you want to shoot some nice b-roll, this is an amazing lens to have. You are going to really be able to take some really cool b-roll uh, that is stable and just smooth and buttery, especially if you're doing like slow-mo, it's just going to look amazing. It's got some variable of, of uh, macro settings, so you can set it to uh, 1.2 meters or 2.5 meters. Basically that's how, how far it needs to, uh, subject needs to be from the front of the lens. So you get some flexibility there. I think the, uh, the closer um, you get, uh, you're going to lose some depth of field, so if you can put it on a 2.5 millimeter, um, it's going to look pretty amazing. Got autofocus. It's got two image stabilizer modes. I'm not still not sure if I know what the difference is in the two. I've messed around with them. There's not really a big difference in those. But overall, this lens, if I can afford to carry the extra weight, I will bring this bad boy with me, especially if I'm going somewhere where I want to be able to shoot some video. I want to be able to shoot some B-roll. This is going to be an awesome, awesome uh, lens to have with you in your kit. So those are the top three lenses with an honorable mention number four uh, that I recommend you guys check out. Uh, these are all good lenses to have in your kit. Um, not saying this is the only lenses you should have. I'm not saying these are the lenses maybe for you, but these are just the lenses that I've kind of uh, over the years adapted to and started using in my kit. So highly recommend you check all these out. If you have any questions or anything like that, drop them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Please, if you uh, like the video, hit the like button. If you can, subscribe to my channel and catch you on the flip side.